What is going on peeps? Welcome back to another video and contrary to what many of you tended to start believing, no, I'm not dead. Last week I had just a million personal things going on that I don't really want to get into. I'm sure you guys can understand, but it was a little bit nice to take a step back away from the internet for a few days. I mean, there's only so much garbage YouTube content and political arguments one could take. But I do thank you all for your very strange, but sincere concern. But anyway guys, obviously Obviously today in America we are celebrating Thanksgiving. So to any of you out there who are celebrating today, I hope you have an awesome day with your friends, family. I don't know why you're even watching this video. Go hang out with them. But if you're not, then you're welcome to stay right here. At some point though, watch this video because today I'm going to be choosing a few recipes from BuzzFeed's page 19 Thanksgiving leftover ideas that aren't sandwiches, which really appeal to me because I feel like that's all anyone suggests ever. I picked out three recipes that looked super creative and delicious and from completely different culinary backgrounds all over the world. So let's see which one of them comes out the best. Now guys, if your family is anything like mine, they overcook like crazy and you're gonna have a ton of leftovers. And that includes turkey. I mean, it's not like I'm filming this video days in advance and I have to go buy chicken from the store to emulate turkey. Hey, hey. Listen, in these three recipes, both chicken and turkey would work the same way, so just ignore that. But I figured for this three-course meal, we should start with an appetizer, and I think the Thanksgiving leftover nachos would be perfect. So for that, I collected a huge bag of tortilla chips, some shredded cheddar cheese, some leftover turkey breast, a package of taco seasoning, a lime, some jalapeno peppers, salt, some green onion, and some sour cream. But the very first thing I did, which is optional for this recipe, is created a cranberry jalapeno salsa. For that, I just combined some cranberry sauce and mashed it down, threw in some cilantro and lime juice, then just really finely diced up a jalapeno pepper and added that in as well. A little bit of salt, and there you have a really simple salsa. I just set that off to the side for now, grabbed my green onions, and cut about a quarter cup of those up, then my jalapeno peppers in some very thin slices. The last step you need to do before you can assemble the nachos is just to grab all of your chicken or turkey, and then throw in a few tablespoons of that taco seasoning. By the way, you could really easily make a seasoning like this at home if you want to, and that's pretty much all the prep work you need to do for the nachos. So so I grabbed an oven safe glass pan and threw down the first layer of tortilla chips. Sprinkled over the top of them half of my cheddar cheese. Added yet another layer of the tortilla chips. Added even more cheese on top of that. Then just top it off with a layer of the shredded chicken or turkey. And throw it in a 425 degree oven for a few minutes or until all the cheese melts down. Once you remove that from the oven, we can load this bad boy up with your jalapeno peppers and green onions. A nice squeeze of lime juice all across the top. And once I got a little segment of that on a smaller plate, I just threw on some sour cream, that cranberry mix, and some salsa. And this looks pretty freaking good. Now, we already know that the basic nacho and cheese is going to taste banging. My main point of interest here is how the chicken tastes with that taco seasoning and this salsa right here. At first, I did think this sounded a little bit gross, but it kind of makes sense because that base of the cilantro, lime, and salt would work with really anything sweet. Like red onion, pineapple, mango would all work with that stuff. So let's uh, give it a try here. It's not bad, but it's not the best either. Maybe this takes a little bit of getting used to or something, but I'm definitely not all about it right now. I don't know how that spicy jalapeno goes with the really sweet uh, cranberry, but it's not bad. Minus that though, and just the nachos and everything on it is pretty simple, but obviously it's pretty good. So I'm gonna give it a six and a half out of 10 onto the next recipe. The second recipe we're gonna be trying out today are these cheesy leftover mashed potato pancakes. You're gonna to wanna to grab yourself some flour and oil, some sour cream, and a few cups of leftover mashed potatoes, shredded cheddar cheese, some shredded up chicken or turkey, some more green onions, and one egg. 
This recipe is even simpler than the last one. In a big bowl, I just threw in three cups of my chilled mashed potatoes, the cheddar cheese, the scallions, and an egg. Of course, along with the diced up turkey and just a few tablespoons of flour to bind it all together. You then gotta get in there and mix these all around really, really thoroughly just to ensure that each one of your pancakes has a little bit of everything. Throw some flour down onto a clean surface along with your hands and start rolling out balls of the potatoes. Out of this mixture, I'd say you wanna try to get between 13 and 15 pancakes, but you can make them bigger or smaller, completely up to you. You just carefully wanna smash each one of those down into pancake form, then grab a separate bowl of flour and dredge each side in that. Once you shake off the excess flour, we're pretty much ready to cook these up. Over on my stove, I heated up a few tablespoons of the vegetable oil and then fried two or three at a time. You really only want to give these three to four minutes on both sides just until they become crispy golden brown like these. And then just pull them all out and let them drain off on a flat surface with some paper towels. Right now, I can most definitely say that these things have some potential to blow the last recipe right out of the water. Now, these smell so freaking good. Like a french fry tater tot on steroids. To, um, to Hanukkah. Mmm. That is a winner. Imagine like the most perfectly crispy and salty french fries in mashed potato form. That's pretty much what this is. Except with the addition of cheese inside. Highly, highly recommend that one. 9 out of 10. For our very last recipe of the day, we are going to be trying to make these turkey ramen bowls. I'd like everyone to know ahead of time that I am a ramen enthusiast. I've done many videos with ramen in the past. I also went two weeks once before eating ramen every single day, don't judge. It's just one of those unhealthy obsessions, but let's get past that. What you're gonna need for this recipe is some shredded up chicken or turkey, some chicken stock, some fresh ginger root, of course some ramen noodles, fresh spinach, sesame oil, soy sauce, and green onions. Step one, in your pan, you wanna throw down about a tablespoon of the sesame oil and then all of your turkey. This is really only to brown up your turkey a little bit and just add some extra flavor. You're just gonna to wanna to sprinkle a little bit of soy sauce over that and then turn the heat off and leave it to the side for now. Now while that was working, I went over to my cutting board and peeled up a small piece of the ginger, cut that in half to increase the surface area of it, and then in a big pot, threw in a quart of chicken broth and that ginger root. Now once that comes to a boil, I threw in four and a half ounces, which is about a packet and a half of the ramen noodles. Excuse the fogging of the camera lens here, but mix those up until the noodles are fully cooked. Then turn off the heat and add your fresh spinach. Once you sprinkle a little bit more of the sesame oil and some soy sauce in there, that mix is pretty much done as well. You're gonna want to combine the two pots into one, mix those up, and once you got them into some smaller bowls, just top it all off with some of that green onion. I need to eat this right now. I can't wait for all the comments on how wrong I'm using these chopsticks. This is gonna be the messiest thing on earth. That's good too. We've had some pretty freaking amazing recipes today. Thanksgiving leftovers is apparently where it's at. I was a little scared because I didn't know how that broth was gonna come out with the um, the ginger and the sesame oil, but it's so much better than the salty flavor packets you get in the store-bought ones. That's great. I have no complaints about this whatsoever. That's getting a 10. Hope you guys enjoyed today's Thanksgiving leftover rendition of the BuzzFeed test. If you did, let me know by leaving a like right underneath this video. Let me know of any more suggestions for recipes that I haven't tried yet. I will try my best not to miss any weeks anytime soon. I know that's like borderline apocalypse when that happens. But other than that, have an absolutely awesome rest of your week, and I'll see you right back here for the next video. Peace. Excuse me while I finish this whole thing. Ah. Uh. Oh. Nasty.